Bonjour, bonsoir. Welcome on JCB Live. Wine style. Today, two fabulous stylish people. Kara Chamberlain and of course, James Ayer. We're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics of all time. To kick it off, of course, we need always as a companion to anything we do. <laughs> Sounds scary, James. <laughs> Don't scare me. Every time there's little bubbles and an explosion, James loves it because it is synonymous of celebration. Oh, yes. It is the moment where the bubbles of the glass meets the beautiful bubbles of the eggs. Dear friends, today is one of my favorite topics. So let's have a toast to this. Yes. This is National Caviar Day tomorrow. So you still have time to get ready. This is National Caviar Day, meaning the beautiful sturgeon has given birth to those lovely, irresistible eggs. I need to confess, as much as I'm French and I should love foie gras, terrine, rillette, pâté, which I do love all of those. My favorite of all time has always been caviar. So today we're going to do two phenomenal things. One, we're going to create the martini cocktail with a JCB vodka. Cara will be leading this wonderful blend as a great mixologist that she is. And then James will be showing us all kinds of things with caviar. Yeah. So, as we toast on JCB 21, the more I drink it, isn't it? It's just delightful. Consistently, it does the body good. good. Sure does. Does the body actually. good. Ay, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Nothing better. So, maybe Kaha, you want to show us the beautiful things you have. Absolutely. So, we actually have quite a few things on our list to showcase when it comes to National Caviar Day. Definitely one of my absolute favorite days of the year. And fortunately, oh yeah, absolutely. And so James and I celebrate religiously with, in abundance. And we encourage everyone to do the same. So what we have prepared for you today, we're gonna start with the food and then we're gonna move into the perfect pairings with your caviar. A lot of you may have questions when it comes to caviar service and to the style of caviar, what to buy and what how to be a savvy shopper with it. So we're going to give you a little bit of insight and show you some key recipes on how to per put together the perfect setting for your National Caviar Day display. So what we have here pre uh, prepared, so when it comes to caviar service, first, we're gonna talk about the caviar because that is the key component. So Jean-Charles and our team, we have worked very diligently to find the ideal caviar for every style of service. This is our private label Atelier branded caviar. We have done many, many tastings. It took us about three years to find the perfect supplier for our caviar. It was very rigorous. We had to taste through a multitude of- Which was a lot of fun, Ooh, I guarantee. So fun. I but it's really not as easy as you think to define oh, yeah. the right origin of caviar and to find the right viscosity, density, richness, the eggs popping in the mouth, mm -hmm. and really the right feeling and differentiation that we really wanted to do. It is a challenge. And so it mm -hmm. did take us a while. It, we went and did a lot of steady research. We went to these farms, we went to all of our purveyors to get the history and the background to make sure that what we are bringing into our store is the finest quality that we can receive. And this is local too. Which is the Locally best Locally sourced. Part. So after trying hundreds of caviars from all over the world, we actually unanimously decided on a local caviar just being sourced up north in California. So this style of caviar is a white sturgeon. So if you ever see white sturgeon on a label, it is exclusively raised in the United States. And we have some brilliantly sustainable farms just here in California that we source these from. Atelier has two different grades of caviar. Now your grade of caviar doesn't necessarily define quality. It's more about the texture. It's more about the palate, much like your wine. And so when you're trying to find the ideal texture and style, just know that when we're talking about our two different grades, it doesn't matter if one's better or one is worse. It's just about your palate. And we're very proud of that because when you think about the history of caviar, you need to go back many centuries back to the Caspian Sea, the Russian and the Persian. You know, for many, many thousands of years, 
those beautiful sturgeon gave birth to those beautiful eggs, irresistible eggs, you know, deep and black or sometimes red, of course, and sometimes, you know, a clear color. And it has always been the dish of the king and the queens. So it's exciting when you think about sturgeon grown or developed or swimming in the seas of France, in the southwest, in Italy as well, where there's beautiful farms and as well, and of course, more importantly, on the west coast of the United States, right here in Sacramento. Yes, absolutely. We also have one more, the, the beluga, which is actually comes from Florida. Absolutely. And we are one of the first to have this. We are so happy. Since 2000. Beluga, yes. So I'm not sure if yes. everyone is aware, but caviar, the reason why it's such a delicacy is that all of these sturgeon used to be fished from the wild, directly from the Caspian Sea. It did hit an endangered species list, so it was one of those that was very regulated. The beluga was the one that was indigenous to there, and we have been protecting uh, and conserving that wildlife. Yes. And just since 2006, we have been able to help conserve the sturgeon, and now it is officially off the endangered species list. We are able to bring it back into the United States. We have a farm in Florida that's able to provide it, which is why we are super excited to yes. showcase it. So this is a official beluga. We're one of the only ones in the area that is able to supply that for you. One of the rarest style of caviar. It actually has the largest beads out of any of the caviar that you see, which is why it's considered some of the finest that you're able to receive because of its flavor profile. And now, oh, now we're back to uh, our Back to our ours. Back to so our remember, caviar. beluga ossietra sevruga. Three different styles. Very similar to, you know, an oaky chardonnay, Medial oak chardonnay mm -hmm. to a Chablis as an example. So three different styles and one may not be put on the side. You may want to try each of them and really compare and contrast. Really Absolutely. And depending really on different. your dish and what you want. Oh, yes, 100%. Exactly. So when it comes to our different styles, so for the Royal, the Royal tends to be a bit more creamy. It has a bit more of a nutty complexity to it, has a bit more richness on the palate, really coats the tongue. Whereas the Supreme has a bit more of a firmer bead to it. It's something that you're able to get just a little bit more of that salinity to it. You're able to get a little bit more of that briny component to it. it. Tastes almost like directly from the sea. So we wanted to have a great diversity in our flavor profiles, which is why we have these two. And again, it's just up to your palate mm -hmm. on which style you look for. Typically speaking, the Supreme is a little bit harder to find. So it does sometimes will vary in price it's point. Cleaner, it's a little bit a little cleaner, cleaner in palate but it really is just a matter of which one you prefer. Now, when you serve your caviar, so when we when we have our different types of portions, you can come in, you can talk to James and the team. They're very, very uh, well educated in the style of caviar that they're looking for. So if you're not 100% certain, please ask questions and we'll guide you in the right directions because we eat it all the time. Mm -hmm. And one of the most traditional ways that you can actually serve it is either on a traditional bellini. It's almost like a little pancake, it's so good. And so if you're able to toast that just ever so lightly, Put just a tiny bit of creme fraiche on that. Make sure you use your mother of pearl spoon because the spoon, it will actually uh, sense the sensitivity of the flavor profile in caviar. No and metal. No metal, because it'll absorb that metal flavor, which is why we recommend the mother of pearl spoon. We also have these here at Atelier, so don't hesitate to ask for them. And you can put just a dollop of creme fraiche on your bellini with just a little spoon of caviar and enjoy that. Or we love potato chips. Love. Oh. Keep it simple. Caviar is very it's rich, the best. has some of the best flavors all on its own. You don't need to mess with a good thing. Or my personal favorite is when you actually serve it just right here on your hand. So we call that a little bump of caviar. And what it does is it actually absorbs the flavor profile from your hand, all of your salt. And that way when you consume it, it keeps that natural texture together without any interference from any of the other components. This is more like your training wheels. It's more like pro status. And yes. when you actually taste and compare caviar, if you decide to do a full tasting, do it on that mm -hmm. area, which is the most sensitive part of your hand, yes. the most delicate part, and it's actually flavorless. It doesn't keep the flavor as other parts of the hand. So this is yes. that neutrality we look for. And it's tender, as you notice. It's a very tender part. So, oh, a little movement of the tongue. Oh, right in the arm. That's well, why don't we try? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's one thing yes. to talk about it, but I just think yes. that we need to obviously indulge a little bit and describe it to, for you. We want to do it all natural. All natural. Yes. All natural. Yeah. I'll go natural. There we are. 
So you see the generous, very kind portion that, look at that beautiful shape. So gorgeous black color, deep and intense, perfect temperature. We want to make sure that the caviar is not too cold because it's obviously sticks together otherwise. Mm -hmm. Not too warm because then it liquefies. So you really have to be really diligent on the temperature. And then as you oh, then? go for it. Mm. And it just bursts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. That's delightful. It makes you want more. It sure oh. does. It's so, so tempting. Yes. So if you want to keep your chilled, we actually have multiple different canisters. You'll see a lot of caviar service dishes. You just ice. Go put ice in there, set your dish there, and you can just scoop the caviar right inside there. I would do that, but we have another purpose for this caviar. And then we also have just a mother of pearl dish that you can serve your uh, creme fraiche on. Or other accoutrement. Some exactly. people like chai. We like it kind of just simple. Yeah, we do so. Maybe so egg whites as well. It's, it's often in Russia specifically, or the yolk alone. You separate each of them, you cut them in small pieces. And depending if you like the white part or the yolk part, they could do with the chives on the side and the creme fraiche, and oh. there you are. Mm -hmm. So good. So tasty. Make so now, me. I know, making you hungry. Don't worry, we're getting to your farm where you're gonna make us a delicious <laughs> meal of caviar. Now, when it comes to your beverage pairing, a classic pairing mm. is always going to be bubbles and caviar. You hear those go hand in hand, but as the traditional Russians served it, it was traditionally always served with caviar, or excuse me, with vodka. So what Jean Charles has here, this is our JCV caviar infused vodka. If you haven't had the opportunity to taste this, you really must do it now. It's yes. absolutely perfect, very well balanced. It's something that right as you sip it, it just falls beautifully onto the palate. And as you can see, Cara is gonna make this amazing preparation in that irresistible Saint Louis shaker, which shaker. Is, we also have available here at uh, here at our Yampa location for purchase. So all I'm making here today is a very traditional martini. Because the caviar vodka is so beautiful and delicate on its own, it doesn't need to be messed with too much. It's beautiful just on its own. So when you make a traditional martini, you keep it very classic and very simple. And so I'm just gonna pour a little bit of ice in here. Remember, wine distillation. So we make Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, then we distill it seven times, and then we infuse the actual eggs in the tank through a proprietary patented process. So it's very unique. I cannot tell you the details, but you know how great it tastes. And those eggs in the liquid slowly but surely infuses it. And this is Beluga caviar that we use. So the top notch, the most high end that we will be tasting shortly, is being used to infuse the flavor profile roughly over 35, 40, 45 days, depending on the vintage and obviously the caviar that comes. So when you proportion out your martini, so a traditional proportion is about one and a quarter ounce of vodka. I personally can go up to two, but yeah. it depends on what kind of like day you're two. having. Normally you like two. Absolutely. And then just a quarter ounce of olive juice. And so you don't want to put too much of that olive juice in there. So it's olive. Enough. We're making a dirty one. We're making a slightly dirty margarita. So have you noticed no vermouth, no need, because obviously the purity of the JCB vodka comes originally from wine, the finest wines yes. of Burgundy, Chardonnay Pinot. So no need to have it. No need to have it. No. And so you can even omit the olive juice entirely if you choose to do that. I personally mm -hmm. just like to keep it clean and basic. But if you just like to have a little bit more. Yeah, like a highball. Yeah. Yes. Just like that. A highball. Now, I typically like to stir my martinis just to get it nice and chilled because it doesn't impact too much of the water profile. It doesn't break down the components of the flavor of a martini. That's the key. The moment you start to dilute the ice with the vodka, you change the exact composition and the structure of the JCB vodka. So you want to gently stir, not shake it. Precisely. Yes. Oh, there you go. Just That's why Agent 69 like likes it. Stir and not shake it. Do uh, I get the... Absolutely. Yep. Well, no. Kara, this is all you because well, Kara is the maker and, of course, Mixology. my expert. Mixology. 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 Oh, so good. Oh, I love my martini. And it just... You know a little scream, maybe? A little scream when we want to hear? Woo! Woo! So good. Oh! 
<laughs> oh yeah, what time is it? It's 11.30? Perfect. Oh. Uh, what better time for a martini? Mm, Absolutely. It's so nutty and delicious. I know. Oh, so maybe I'll I'll take do one. Take a little hit. It's and the key part about exaggerating my shine. intake. No, your garnish could be just a little bit of caviar there at the base, mm. so if you feel bold, yeah. definitely yes. worth uh, mm. trying out. Mm. So nice. Rich, dense, mm -hmm. great presence. Yeah. And you know what I love. Specifically, myself, not loving spirits as much as wine. No alcohol buys. So it's very gentle, mm -hmm. very rich, mm -hmm. coats my tongue, and is going to welcome the caviar. Yes, mm. definitely. So now I'm going to take have James take over to walk us through our delicious meal. So this, oh my gosh, this is something we love. John Charles just goes crazy for this. And um, so we take toasted white bread. Lightly toasted. And this is something that I do for my wife on Mother's Day. She loves this. Once a year we do this. And then with John Charles, I have to make it every other week. <laughs> so, so well, we became a He is the number us. one. So what we have is farm fresh eggs right here. So you prepared how? Yes. So this is minced eggs, like you're making an egg salad. But the one component that is special to this is creme fraiche. That's all you use. No, no mayonnaise, mayonnaise. No mayonnaise. Thank you. It's just a little salt and creme fraiche. And just a little, just to, to combine all the proper egg. And it's the most beautiful flavor. You get creaminess from the creme fraiche, mm -hmm. a little acidity, which is in the creme fraiche, and then the sweetness and the fat from the yolk. It's perfect for eggs and caviar. It's perfect. So what we're going to do here is we just smear it on there, just like that. Mm. Yes, just he goes salad. nuts. He, he, he goes salad. nuts for this. Well, which is very exciting for It's me. simplicity. Is the egg comes from the chicken, feathers, an animal from the earth and the sky, and then we have the eggs coming from the ocean. So you play with the different elements as well. And I love this because life is about all the elements, integrating everything. So whenever we do amuse bouche or dishes, you want to think about traveling all around the constellation and the galaxies and really mix the elements, which I think is so cool. So if you belong the chicken to the air, then you have the vodka from the earth, the grapes. That's true. You know, you have the caviar eggs from the ocean and you have the chickens from the air. So here we go, dollop there and just smear it around. Oh, yeah. Believe me, once you have this, You'll, I mean, you won't want to stop. It's just, you'll go, can I have another one? And, and you don't another. grill it too much. Just no, to just to keep it set. And it's it's generally white bread is the best, lighter white bread. But just that, if you want to do, Jean Charles is like salad on it. My wife happens to like butter lettuce on it. Just a little, yes. just smooth butter lettuce. It's it's quite good. Brings a little so, bit of bitterness that is very yes. enjoyable. Yes, so that's how she likes it. But for Jean Charles, we do it very simple, <laughs> like he's a little child. <laughs> yes, I'm, yes, I'm a little more simple. But I, I like flavor without too much. Exactly. And I think, so here we go. Really? Yeah, that's that's it. it. to try this. Uh, Carol, are we good. that lucky? We are that lucky today. <laughs> you see, you just that's our lunch. Today. That's just our lunch. lunch. So, dear friends, come and enjoy it here at the JCB Wine Bar and Lounge or, of course, at Atelier. Call us for caviar advice and suggestions. Cara will give you any magic on the mixology side with all our wonderful spirits and sparkling wine. Indulge, because when you think about it, caviar is not as expensive as you could think. And the beauty of our yes. Sacramento is amazing and very price competitive. Great value. Great and just value. have fun. You're at home a lot of those days and experiment and just play. Couldn't agree with you more. Great yes. to be yes. together. Let's Absolutely. have a little sandwich. Happy National Caviar Day. Yes. Happy National Caviar Day. Yes. Happy National Caviar Day. Oh, and if you do care to buy, we will have a special going on all this weekend to celebrate 10% savings on all caviar purchases. So come and visit us at Atelier this weekend. Come by. And pick up your caviar. We're stocked up. We're stocking oh, yes. up right now. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.